Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is April 1st, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be about present. Now I had to look this up because this had a, a several different meanings. So to define it as an adjective, existing or occurring now of a person in a particular place as a noun, the period of time now occurring. Now we, in the Bible, Numbers 6, 16, and 17, the priest shall present these offerings before the Lord, first the sin offering and then the burnt offering, then the ram for the peace offering along with the basket of bread made without yeast, finally the grain offering along with the drink offering. So these are presents to the Lord. Psalm 118.27, Jehovah God is our life. I present to him my sacrifice upon the altar, for you are my God, and I shall give you this thanks and this praise. Luke 2.27-28, the Holy Spirit had impelled him to go to the temple that day. And so, when Mary and Joseph arrived to present the baby Jesus to the Lord in obedience to the law, Simeon was there and took the child in his arm, praising God. Luke 5:26. Everyone present, every, everyone present was gripped with awe and fear, and they praised God, remarking over and over again. We have seen strange things today. Colossians 1.28 So everywhere we go, we talk about Christ to all who will listen, wanting them and teaching them as well as we know how. We want to be able to present each one to God, perfect because of what Christ has done for each of them. Now what I'm getting here is we need to truly present ourselves to God as the priests would present their sacrifices to God. Jesus Christ became the last sacrifice that was needed to be presented to God for the penalty of sin. Through Jesus we have the price of salvation paid in full. When we are right with God, Jesus will present you to God the Father. When Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to Simeon, he praised God because he was able to see the Savior before he had died. These are interesting concepts today. This is, a, uh, even though some people call it April Fool's Day, God's no fool, and he knows all and would want us to worship him present ourselves to him. Thank you, Hannah. Have a blessed day.